I said, hey, I said, and I said, e, I said, oh, I said, I, I said, see, I said, hey, I said, and American woman gonna mash your mind. American woman gonna mess your mind. American woman gonna mess with your mind. I said, hey. Good afternoon, welcome back to Daddy Justice. After 30 years, for the first time in the history of America, a woman was convicted of perjury and went for sentencing here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania last week. Let's check it out. See what happens. Live from Lancaster County Courthouse, we have Daddy Justice. Take it away, Daddy. Guilty. 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 Perjury. False swearing and false police reports. Wendy Flanders has been found guilty. For the first time in the history of Lancaster County Court, for the first time likely in, this, in the history of American Court, a woman who lied in custody court for the purposes of taking a child and who lied to police to try to put a father in jail for things he didn't do, has finally been found guilty. Hallelujah for the millions of men who don't know their children based on false accusations. And to you tens of millions of children out there who think your dad is an awful man because of the things you've heard, think again. Maybe so, maybe no. Daddy Justice, here today, signing off. Wow, 30 days. Yeah. Incredible. Two I'm surprised. Years. Two years of probation. I feel bad for her. 30 days in the hole. 30 days in the hole. There's no winners. I don't like to see Wendy go to jail for 30 days. On the other hand, fathers are hauled off every week, or much more than that, based upon false accusations and perjury. It's got to stop. 30 years is enough. This is un-American. But let it be known, Wendy had offers. She could have pled out and got no jail time. I wasn't necessarily supportive of that offer, but it was made without regard, or without asking me. And she refused it. I'm confident that her attorney would have advised her to take it. Well, Mike Marinara, not Jim Wallman, I don't know what he advised her. But it was her refusal to admit that she lied and allocute herself and ask for an apology that caused her to go to jail for 30 days. So you would say, vindicated. All right, Ben, after six years and nine months, finally, you're vindicated. She's a liar. She's been the one accusing you all these years. And now, she's convicted and sentenced. Your day in court? Mm, not necessarily. Two statements from Bud Nisley, who, by the way, looked an awful lot like Chris Kringle up there. One of which was, there are two parents who aren't doing the right thing for these children and perpetuate this. To that effect. The other one? The court is the victim here. Excuse me, bud, while you've been getting paid as a lawyer for the last seven years and then became judge, I've been taking a fall. Lost my son, lost my ability to function in the business world. I've had everything I've built and earned drained down to zero. And my reputation has been trashed throughout the community. You were the victim? No, bud. Here's what happened. 
Wendy Flanders was called up on the stand by Jim Wallman, a known convicted liar and fraud, and she perjured herself over and over again. In Judge Hummer's court, and Judge Hummer suborned the perjury by asking the specific questions that he wanted the answers to. What are you doing, Audie? And Judge Hummer looked at the video from the police station and ignored it and asked Wendy and cited her answers in his decision against me. Judge Hummer wanted Wendy to lie. He suborned the perjury and pulled it from this side, right up there from the bench. He pulled it right out of the witness stand. And then he put Emily, Wendy's daughter, on the stand and asked her the questions he wanted to ask her. He refused all my witnesses to put Emily on the stand and solicited from her the perjurious statements, which he also used in his decision. Well, why? Jim Wallman is an officer of the court. Judge Bud Nisley, Julie Cooper is an officer of the court, and they lie for Wendy Flanders, still to this day, every time they go to court. Judge Hummer sat where you sit today and perpetrated upon me this crime over a period of years, and not only upon me, not a why me thing, about thousands thousands of men went through that court and were stripped of their citizenship and their rights as a citizen and they were stripped of their children. They were made into a subclass where all the sharks, leeches, and other carnivores were allowed to descend upon them. Get out of the way. I suspect Judge has a slight case of judgitis already setting in. I also suspect that the judge is trying to deflect the responsibility and the accountability to the court system of Lancaster for destroying families. And I suggest to you, Judge Bud Nisley, you're not above the citizens. It is not we that are at fault. When there's a sick woman, the court's helped with sick women for all these years, attack the man, the courts, the perpetrator, and Judge Bud Nisley, me, and all the families that you guys trash are the victims. Now you knew, did a pretty good job on this trial, but please, try not to victimize myself and other fathers when we come through and are finally, for the first time in the history of the United States, vindicated, and still he's got to take a couple swipes at me. Well, let me say this, Judge Bud Nisley and the rest of you, if it weren't for one thing, this would never happen. American woman, gonna mess your mind. American woman, gonna mess with your mind, I said, hey.